You're with Newswatch on a Tuesday night. Nominations are invited for the Heritage Awards, given annually for outstanding contribution to Gibraltar's heritage. The Trust has been organising these awards since 1993. The Heritage Trust is inviting nominations in four categories and a special commendation will be awarded by the Trust Board. Any project related to Gibraltar's heritage can be nominated. Anyone and anything from a project, um, a book that's been written, um, a school project or youth club project, individuals who've been working for a lifetime promoting the heritage message, um, buildings that have been um, restored sensitively, um, developers, architects that have put forward those schemes, really a, a wide range of of um, people and projects and buildings are eligible. The Trust is not only looking at the grand restorations, but also at the quiet, behind-the-scenes contribution to Gibraltar's heritage. I mean, certainly, to a certain extent, um, in any building, for example, you're definitely looking for the wow factor, and in something like a building, you will get that, especially if it was a wreck or near wreck beforehand and it's been brought back um, successfully. But um, there's also quite a lot of um, individuals in our community who are a lot quieter, who have just been many years plugging away, um, promoting, sharing the information that they have, helping out in all sorts of ways. And it's those sorts of people that we want to hear about and we want to um, hear about what they've been doing and see perhaps if it's worthy of, of, a, of a heritage award. A couple of years now that you haven't had a junior award, I imagine that this is important. This could be perhaps on a smaller scale. Yeah. Definitely. Um, we know there's a lot of schools out there, a lot of teachers doing great stuff with their classes, um, youth clubs doing things with the, with the groups, and we want to know about what they're doing um, and think about nominating them, no matter what it is. Just go to our website, download the form, have a look at, the, at what it is. It's very simple information that we need, and then we'll get in contact with you to find out more. And there seems to be no shortage of projects, despite the Heritage Trust having been organising the awards for 22 years now. So much, you'd be surprised. Every year we do get an, um, quite a few nominations, and sometimes it's difficult to choose um, because they're all so good. And um, especially in the last couple of years, we've given more than one in each category. Um, so it's good that we spoke for choice. And sometimes the quality of them are so good that we've also had, we've said to people, perhaps you've missed out this year, but think about nominating it again next year because it really, you were just pipped at the post and it really is a good, a good project to, to put forward. So what does the Trust really want to get out of these awards and what are their main aims? Yes. The, the awards really are about celebrating good things that are happening with heritage. I mean, the Trust on a daily basis sometimes feels that we're constantly being negative about things, the erosion of details. But there are a lot of good things that happen as well, and it's only right that we recognise them. And the award system, which has been going for a number of years now, does that. We feel it brings out into the public the good things which haven't made the headlines because they're not controversial enough, um, but they're really nice little projects and little stories that are going around Gibraltar, and a lot of people really put their hearts and souls into a lot of these um, restoration projects. And really, they are contributing back to Gibraltar society and helping to keep the spirit of Gibraltar alive. Further details and nomination forms may be obtained on weekdays from the Trust Office at John McIntosh Square or by emailing heritage at The closing date for nominations is the 15th of next month.